This week we're at Carlsbad High School, which was home of one of the most famous gaps in all of skateboarding. Obviously the gap was destroyed in 2012, but we're gonna skate around the school and see what's skatable here now. We got this five stair with a up rail or a down rail to ledge. Uh, a few crazy tricks have been done on this. Uh, one that really sticks out is T-spliff, front feebled up the rail. All right, let's go see what's inside the school. Oh good, you can skate here. Skateboards has been crossed out, so it must be okay. All right, we're in. Uh, all right, first thing I see, it looks like a 12 or a 13 maybe, let's count them. Nine, 10, 11, 12, it's a 12. Pretty good 12 stair, minus this crack that needs rebondoed. Looks like it's been bonded a few times before, but chipped out. Run up, landing's pretty smooth. So about the original Carlsbad Gap, I don't know who the first one that ollied it was, but I know that Chris Markovich and Rob Dyrdek was battling for the first one to kickflip it. Chris Markovich did it. Markovich nailed it. Even though it means nothing at the time, I was so heartbroken. Once Chris Markovich landed that kickflip, he got the cover of Trans World Magazine. After that, everyone wanted a piece of the Carlsbad Gap. But the Carlsbad Gap was deadly. The Carlsbad Gap had some cracks at the beginning, then you had to go down the grass gap, there was a small wall at the bottom that you had to clear, and then there was an uphill landing. The uphill landing absolutely destroyed some of the skaters. A lot of them would slam so hard that they'd hit their head. Whooshed out and hit my head. Yeah. I know one guy tried to skate the gap and hit a rock, so he bailed too early and clipped his foot on the wall. There was also one of the gnarliest slams I've ever seen. Nice ollie down the 12 stair. I thought there was a 16 stair here. Let's see if we can find it. But okay. uh, what is this? There's a drop in. How do you even get out of it? You have to ollie over this square piece at the end. You don't want to clip on that. Yeah, the whole thing slants that way. So I imagine it's really weird rolling down it. Oh, yes! So after Markovich landed that kickflip, Jeremy Ray came and did a frontside flip. He also did a frontside 360. And a backside heel flip. And Danny Way was the first one to nolly the gap. Let's go to another section. Follow me. Oh, looks like there's some stairs over here. Crazy out ledges. Dang, yeah, this out ledge here, wow. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, there's a fun little outlet. You probably get more technical on it if you want. Angle's a little weird. So the gap got tray flipped by Josh Casper. <laughs> and things just kept getting crazier. Tom Penny did switch front side flip. Then Andrew Reynolds did a front side half cap flip. Oh. 
and he nolly 360'd it. This is Handicap Rail right here. Someone's had to have skated this before. Definitely like a board site. Ooh, that's sticky. We should have brought some wax. Let's keep it moving. Nigel Houston did an all front side heel. Eric Ellington did back big spin. And then he was saying he's getting fucked up tonight. Yeah, he's getting fucked up tonight. <laughs> That's Baker three. That was classic. Oh yeah, and Josh Casper did tray flip tail grab. That was insane. And then and then Trevor McClung did switch big flip, which blows my mind. Oh yeah, and then Billy Marks did kickflip roast beef. He also did switch big heel. And he did switch big heel. That was crazy too, you're right. Ride the sky. There we go. All right, well, I guess you can uh, use my board or any board you have to uh, make a bump out of this grate and skate over a trash can that's place nearby. Let's test it out. I hope my board doesn't fall down in this mess. Nice. Do it like a gap manual. Kanan just pointed out this awning gap. It looks pretty gnarly. You do ollie manual drop down. It's a big drop, but I think someone could do it. Someone did ollie big heel. Cody McIntyre. To Cody McIntyre, that was it. Yeah. That was insane. No, he did nollie back big spin first and then nollie big heel. I mean, so many tricks went down on that gap before it was destroyed that people had to get real creative. I know that people were doing air walks, double kick flips, finger flip, body burials. Late flip. I mean, everything had already been done, so you gotta, you gotta really think of something new to try down this thing. But I think the craziest thing that ever went down, in my opinion, was Chris Cole's back 360 kickflip. With the broken board With the bro away. Yeah, and he landed and his tail snapped and he still rode away and, and made it happen. So there's a 16 stair here too. It's probably the biggest thing here. I don't really know much that's been done. A couple people hit the rail and gapped out. That's an insane gap. From there, they gapped out. That's crazy. You would have to grind this Bondo down to make it skatable again. Okay, and remember when we came to Carlsbad High in 2008 and we were like really little? Yeah, I sure do. You remember you landed in an ollie? I did. I remember uh, mom was yelling at you when you would slam. She'd be like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes when your mom's on the sesh and you're just a kid slamming on the ground. Okay, time to go. Time to land it. Yo. Yes. Kanan. But then you did it. You landed it. Got it. How old were you in 2008? Uh, 13 or 14. Wow. Yeah, we were all teenagers. Yep. There was also a rail right next to the gap that had a kink at the bottom of it. Some people even skated that thing. The gap got so popular, there was even official contest thrown at the spot. Yeah. 
And, and we actually had this, but Tech Deck made a replica of the spot so you could skate it with your fingerboards. Do you remember doing that? Yeah. And it did not stop there because it was also featured in Tony Hawk Pro Skater, I believe the second one. It was also recreated in the game Skate 3. And it was also recreated in the Maloof Money Cup. And the San Diego 2018 AmSlam. Kanan actually skated it at that contest. They also had a Rincon replica. Really? Another spot we should uh, go to. Yeah, maybe we'll do a video on that soon. And then sadly, February 23rd, 2012, the Gap got destroyed due to renovations for the school. So the Gap's not here anymore, but uh, hey, I think there is still a Carlsbad Gap. Let's go find it. Follow me. So this is the new Carlsbad Gap. Huh? Yeah, this is the new one. I saw this on Google Maps, so I knew it was here. And people do skate this because there is Bondo on it. All right, let's see an ollie on the new Carlsbad Gap. Yeah! He did it just like he did in 2008. Some things never change. All right, so that's our video on the Carlsbad Gap. So there's obviously a lot of tricks that we left out. Comment your favorite ones that we missed down below, and then let us know if there's a spot we should make a video about in the future. Whoa, look, there's a skateboard in the window. There is a skateboard. See, the school is full of skateboarding history. Look at all the balls stuck up on the awning. Huh. <laughs>